Colon cancer is one of the leading causes of cancer-related deaths in the country, and yet many Americans are still hesitant to get screened. Dr. Abhishek Golati, a gastroenterologist at Community, told us that more than 50,000 Americans will be diagnosed with colon cancer this year. And what makes the difference in whether a patient survives or not is how early it's caught. So if a colon cancer gets diagnosed when it's stage one, so it's form of a, like a relatively large polyp, um, at that stage, the five-year survival for the patients is above 90%. If caught early enough, colon cancer can even be fully prevented. Compare that with colon cancer diagnosed at a later stage, stage 4, the five-year survival drops to like 14%. The key to prevention and survival is getting screened. So in the United States, any adult between the age of 45 and 75 is um, recommended to have colon cancer screening performed. One in three U.S. adults who is eligible who should get colon cancer screening actually has gotten no form of screening. For those needing to be screened, physicians recommend a colonoscopy, but if hesitant, there may be other options. The one that's most widely known is a colonoscopy, but then there are tests that are recently in the last 10, 15 years have come up, and one of them is a stool test. Stool tests like Cologuard have made screenings easier, but some patients still have reservations. There is a certain sense of uh, Embarrassment having to deal with the stool sample, taking it to the lab, mailing it in. Some patients don't want to do that at all. Recently, another option has emerged. But there's a new study that just came out in March that was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. This study tested the blood in subjects to see if it could detect colon cancer. It's a simple blood draw, but it was detecting what is called a cell-free DNA, which means that there are these fragments of DNA tissue that are circulating in the blood uh, that the tests are sensitive enough to pick up and these DNA fragments are being shed by the tumor. The test is able to detect certain mutations within the DNA. So they found that when the test said, yes, there is a chance that you may have colon cancer, it was sensitive, it was accurate in about 83.1%. This test is still waiting for approval from the FDA, but Dr. Gulati is optimistic for its future. So you have options, but get screened. That's the most important message, get screened. Colon cancer is the second highest cause of cancer-related death in the U.S., but now with so many screening options, it can be fully prevented. We always say the best test is the one that gets done. To know what screening is best for you, talk to your primary care physician or visit cdc.gov slash colorectal cancer.